Hi, this is a demonstration of what you can do if you're lost and stuck out of the mountains with your snowmobile, what you can do in order to get a fire, in order to spend the night and stay warm. Now normally, I would have a kit with me that allows me to start a fire. My preferred kit is flint and steel with a small waterproof container that contains cotton balls that have been covered in Vaseline. With this kit, I can start a fire anywhere in a blizzard, in a rainstorm, doesn't matter. I can start a fire that way. But what if you don't have this? Well, you have your snowmobile. You have a tank of gas. You have a snowmobile that will make spark. And so you can have fire. All you need to do is find a little bit of cloth. Well, your socks or a piece of your shirt. I've got an old sock here. And uh, you can start a fire. Let's try it. Now the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to prepare a spot for the fire. I've laid a bunch of larger branches down right on the snow where I've packed it down and that's going to give me a dry base to start my fire. The next thing is I'm going to break off a bunch of the real fine twigs here that I've found and I'm going to get them ready in a separate pile so I can put them directly on the flame once I get it going and that will provide me with the tinder that I need so I can add the larger branches. Next, I'm going to take my sock and wrap it around a branch so I can stick it into the gas tank and get gas on it. Now I understand some people in the Midwest, they carry tampons in their uh, uh, glove box because it's got a string and it's got some cotton and it works great for this. But I've just got what I've got here so I'm using a sock and a stick. And now we've got gas all over this. We're just about ready to go. So I've taken my spark plug out of the engine, and it has to actually be in contact with the engine in order for it to spark right. And before I go ahead and pull the, uh, the rip cord, I'm going to make sure I have a shovel nearby me. Just in case any gas drops down in the snowmobile, I don't want to catch it on fire. So, here's my gas-soaked stick. Let's see if it works. Oh, there we go. Okay, now I can start adding sticks onto this, and I'll have myself a fire in no time. So, now we have our fire going, and all we needed was a sock, a little bit of gasoline, and some spark. I find that what you need to do is make sure and press those spark plugs good and firm into the rag so it's got plenty of uh, contact. Give it a few pulls. If it doesn't go the first time, readjust it a little. You might need to re-soak it, but it'll go, just like I showed you there. And now we have a nice fire to stay warm all night. Make sure you get enough firewood before the sun goes down so that you can go ahead and uh, stay the entire night. 